Hello and welcome back to day 16 of the NA10 series. In the last few videos, we have seen how do we create image and analyze it? How do we create video and analyze it? And we have also seen how do we analyze audios and generate transcription all using Gemini. There are a couple of more things that we can do with Gemini and that's exactly what we are going to cover in today's and tomorrow's videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what we have to do is we have to go here, search for Gemini and uh, we have all the options here. Okay, analyze audio is something that we've done. Transcribe a recording is something that we've done. Uh, analyze document is pending. Upload a file is pending. Analyze image, generate an image is done. Message a model is pending. Analyze video, generate a video and download a video. All of this is done. So three more things are pending. So let's see how do we do that. Firstly, let's go with upload a file and uh, we will use the same account uh, which has uh, billing connected to it because that's necessary. Resource is file in this case. Operation is upload file, right? And uh, input type is file URL or binary file, right? So we already know what is URL or binary. Okay, we could use either of them. Uh, for now, I'm going to give the URL over here and uh, we already have this URL which is coming from uh, Google Doc. So if I go here, then this is the uh, document that I'm uh, trying to upload over here. Now this upload is not onto our Google Drive. This is uploading to our Gemini account. Okay, which means uh, this is in uh, stored in the API section, right? So let's not worry about where it is getting stored and all of that. Let's understand how upload a file in the Gemini flow works. Uh, before I execute this, let me quickly walk you through this particular document. So this document is uh, about uh, a comprehensive development blueprint for an award-winning gamified mobile application, right? So it is a very long document with a lot of details in it, right? So what I'll do is I'll come here and click on execute step. So this basically gets uploaded to uh, Gemini uh, Cloud right our google slab and we get a file uri here okay and also the mind type is text slash hdr the next step that we have to do is um the gemini analyze a document so let's go here and analyze document again we will use the same account the resource is document in this case operation uh, is analyze document right and model from list again we can use uh 2.5 2.5 not 6 um true and what's in this document right so document url you can give that here okay and click on execute step and there you go so it has given us the output Based on the HTML provided, the document is a comprehensive development blueprint for a mobile application called uh, CodeChamp. Uh, it is a detailed strategic and tactical plan for creating a gamified mobile app designed to help families manage their household costs. We have an option here, which is basically for the token. And uh, we have already discussed that this should be uh, somewhere around 1000, right? Uh, so if you give 300, let's try to execute. Let's see if this works for this particular use case and there you go so it says finish reason max token right you don't get any content uh so I just remove this and execute step now we should get the output and look at the output okay so that's about the upload a file and analyze document okay so one more thing remaining in the gemini uh no is or rather Gemini app integration in NA10 is messenger model. Okay, so once you select that, it will already connect to your latest connected uh, Google account and resource will be text. Operation is messenger model. Uh, the model could be 2.5 flash or pro, whatever works best for you. And uh, we could give the prompt here. Now the prompt should be basis your text that is available over here. 
okay uh, from the analyze document or um, any other uh, step right it's not necessary that this needs to be dynamic you could also give a normal prompt right uh, so if i ask if i get this prompt here sorry if i get this text over here in the prompt and then ask it to something like based on the text provided give me uh, pointers that can be shared with R E. Right. Again, some random prompt. Uh, all I want to showcase in this particular video is how to use message a model node from Gemini. Okay, so we have a role which is user here. Okay, and then uh, we have simplify output, which we have already seen. Output contained as JSON. So I'll show you what this means. And uh, we have a lot of uh, things here. Options like system message, code execution, frequency, priority, and all of this, which is uh, more in detail about the, the, what I say, usage of LLM. That is basically message model. Let's not get into that uh, because that itself requires one full session. So I'll click on execute step and let's see what happens. As always, it will give, oh, of course, yes, we will do that. Or this here is where, here is your output and so on and so forth. We'd have to put a note in the prompt. And you can see here, of course, based on the detailed breakdown of the code camp app. So let's give a note. Do not include anything additional with your response like cruise just give the output text so that we can directly use it without making any additional change and so we share okay so let me give an execute step I hope the AI understands what we are asking for. Let's see. Okay, so you can see here, it has given us key pointers for the core cam team. So product and mission and all the other pointers that it has given us. It does not include any additional uh, text, which is good. Now let's go to output content at JSON and let me run this. So you can see that the output the text what we've got itself is formatted in the json format right that's the only difference between output content as json or without this okay now one of the question that you might be having is that should i use upload a file and then analyze document and then message a model or should i use analyze audio and then transcribe a recording or should we generate a video and then download it and then analyze it and so on and so forth not necessary right you could use any of these nodes whenever you want just that the particular node requires particular input so that can give the expected output if we have those particular inputs from some other node or if the user is giving it that's all completely fine the sessions the videos that we have done is just so that you can understand how each of these nodes work and how do we use them? You can mix and match these nodes with any other nodes. It could be from a user uh, initiated message like uh, via a chat uh, based trigger, or it could be uh, the input is coming from some other uh, node. Output is going to some other node. All that is possible. Just understand that each of these nodes can be used in a particular way and use it as and when you need it in your workflows. So that's all about the Gemini functionality in NA10, at least as of now. They may add new nodes uh, in the future. And if it happens so, then we will cover them as and when possible. I hope now you know how to use each of the nodes available in Gemini within the NA10 flow. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in our WhatsApp community and if you have still not joined the community, please do because that's where 
rest of the magic happens. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.